Hello my wonderful people, welcome to my platform. If it is your first time of stopping by or coming across this channel, you like what you see, please subscribe, put on your notification bell. It is very, very important because it will enable you to know when I upload a new video. In this platform, I present to you news on daily basis, what I do before I present the news. I analyze it and I sit down there to watch it together with you. And we'll come to the comment section to talk about you are free to criticize, to drop your opinion or whatever you think about the video. And I want to also use this opportunity to, you know, give credit to all those that have been using their program and my channel. May God Almighty bless you. I bring to you news about Nigeria. Guys, I'm at the airport. I'm on my way to New York. I'm going there for Haras Buhari out of New York. Muhammad Buhari is in New York boasting, and this is the man that has ruined our economy. As I speak to you today, the Zimbabwean dollar is worth more than the Nigerian Naira. And do you know why? It's because Buhari has borrowed Nigeria to the ground. When this man became president on May 29, 2015, Nigeria owed a total debt of 12 trillion Naira. As I speak to you right now, Nigeria is owing 36 trillion Naira. Naira, 36 trillion Naira. So he has more than multiplied our debt by three times. And yet he wants to borrow $4 billion more and 700 euros more. And this rubber stamp National Assembly, they are going to approve those loans for him. And what is he using the money for, if I might ask? Look at what the man is using the money for. He's spending $2 billion building a railway to Niger Republic. Since you have been born till now, have you ever heard that a sovereign nation takes debts that, that not money that it has, take debt to go to another country to build infrastructure for them that it does not have? Look, Buhari, when he was asked why in, on his Arrive TV interview, he said he has first cousins in Niger. If he has first cousins in Niger, if he likes Niger so much, then he should change his nationality and move to Niger. He should not be using our money, and not our money. He should not be borrowing money in Nigeria's name to go and build a $2 billion railway in Niger. Rotimi Amechi, when he was asked the rationale for building the railway in Niger Republic, he said that it is for Nigeria's economic interest. The GDP of Niger Republic is $12 billion. Don't take my word for it. Please, Google it. $12 billion, the GDP of Niger Republic. Now, the GDP of the Southeast, the Igbo people, the people that Buhari said are a dot in a circle, is $100 billion. Now, if it was for Nigeria's economic interest, then the best thing to have done, what would have happened is for Buhari to have built a railway in the Southeast, connecting the Southeast to Lagos Port, to Potakot Port, to Wari Port. But no, there is no railway in the Southeast. Buhari has built no railway for them that is building a $2 billion railway in Niger Republic. And look at what he's using the money for again. He's building a naval base in Kano. Since I've been born, and since you were born, have you ever heard that any country built a naval base in Kano? I was a guest at the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis. Please, you can see the video. It's on my Facebook page. The U.S. has a map of all their naval academies. The U.S. has de deserts. No naval academy, no naval bases in the desert. No country builds a naval base in the desert. This is just tribalism, nepotism on steroids. And we are not going to have it. I am not going to have it. And I urge you all, come out, join me. 828 Second Avenue. New York, that is Nigeria House, 828 Second Avenue, New York. Join me and let us harass Buhari out of New York. If you come in, I will give all of you this shirt I'm wearing. If you like the white one, I've got it in white. Here you go, the white one. If you don't like the white one, you want the black one, I've got it in black. Here you go. So you can join me. Join me, let us fight this man and send him peacefully, send him back to Nigeria. This man said he's fighting corruption. Look at what happened. Last week he received Efemi Fani Kayode smiling, taking pictures with him. This is a man that has not gone to take pictures with our soldiers that are dying. Femi Fanika Yodeta has an EFCC case. He is taking a picture with him. He went to Kanu and raised the hand up of Umar Ganduje and said that Kanu people should vote for him. This man did not fight corruption at all. He is fighting opposition. Now they are preparing that Ganduje and Bola Tinibu to take over from him. No, these people, they have turned our country into the world headquarters for extreme poverty. Enough is enough. Come and join me, the Buhari Tormentor, at 828 Second Avenue in New York. York. Let us harass Buhari out of town. Harass Buhari out of New York. All of you, when you come, 
I'm going to be there 12, 12 noon on Friday. 12 noon on Friday. 12 noon on Friday. 828 Second Avenue, New York. When you join me for Harris Harriet of New York, I'm giving you a shirt. Each person that comes, if you don't like the black shirt, there is the white shirt. Hmm? Come and join me. Harass Buhari out of New York. Come and join me. I'm at the airport. This is my money I'm spending because I care for that country. I care for you. I teach you how to make world and I also care for you. Come and help us fight for this country peacefully. Harass Buhari out of New York. My name is Renaud Mokri. Thank you for watching. Now I'm at the airport and you can see I'm in my Harass Buhari out of New York gear. Look at that, Haras Buhari out of New York. I'm at the airport, I'm on my way to New York. And I urge all of you, I urge all of you to join me. Join me at New York. I'm heading up to New York right now. Look, Buhari has made a mess out of Nigeria. As I speak to you right now, our currency, the Naira is lower. It is worth less than the Zimbabwean dollar. And why is it worth less than the Zimbabwean dollar? It's because Buhari has borrowed so much that our debt to GDP ratio and our debt to revenue ratio is so high. And because of that, it's driving down the value of the Naira such that the Zimbabwean dollar has more value than our Naira. And then what is Buhari using these monies for? He's using this money, $2 billion, to build a railway in Niger Republic. Have you ever heard of that before? That a sovereign nation will spend its own money, and not money that it owes, that it has, money that it borrows from another country to go and build infrastructure in another country. I mean, have you heard of that before? When he was asked on his Arise television interview, Buhari said that he has first cousins in Niger. And so what? If your father comes from Niger and you have first cousins from Niger, then you change your citizenship, you go to Niger. You can't be using Nigeria's funds to build a railway in Niger Republic. And Rotimi Ameji, when he was asked the rationale for the railway, he said that it's going to boost our economy. Niger Republic has a GDP of $12 billion. Don't take my word for it please google it yourself they have a gdp of 12 billion dollars look the southeast of nigeria Igbo people the southeast of nigeria the people that buhari called a dot in a circle their internal gdp just the southeast alone is 100 billion dollars yet buhari has not built a railway in the southeast if it is about commerce if it is to for nigeria's economic interest then you should build a railway in the southeast connecting the southeast directly to the port in portacot to the port in worry to the port in lagos no, this is all about nepotism and tribalism because he has his first cousins there. And what else are they using the money for? They are building a naval base in Kanu, a desert. Look, I went to the United States um, Naval Academy. I went there at Annapolis. I wasn't a student. I just went there as a guest. And I saw the map of where the United States have all their naval academies. The United States does not have a single naval academy in the desert. No country has a naval academy in the desert. Why should Buhari be spending money building a naval academy in the desert? All these things. Look, this man came in. He said that he could not afford to buy his presidential nomination form in 2014. Look at the wedding that he did for his son multi-billion naira wedding 100 private jets and this man is now going to new york to go and boast that he has done good things to our, our economy this man has ruined our economy we are now the world headquarters for extreme poverty i want you to join me join me at nigeria house which is the nigerian high Com um, consulate in new york 828 second avenue 828 second avenue join me there i am going to uh, lead that to protest to harass buhari out of new New York. Look at that. Harass Barry out of New York. And then if you join me, if you call me, I have t-shirts for you. So you're, it's not just me getting the t-shirts. You're also getting t-shirts. See? I've got them. I've got them for you. Harass Buhari out of... I will give to each person that comes. Harass Buhari out of New York. I've got them in black. If you want them in white, I have them in white. Harass Buhari out of New York. Look. It's, it is enough, it's enough. The man came and said he was fighting corruption. Okay, look at what's happened. Femi Fani Kayode, he received him laughing. They were taking pictures at Asso Rock. A man who has a pending ESCC case. This is a man who went to Kanu and raised up the hand of Umaru Ganduje Gandola. A man who was caught on camera stopping bribes in US dollars into his pocket. This is a man who receives Babachi Lawal. A man caught red-handed stealing government money. 
the trial of Babachi Lawal, have you heard about it today? Look, our country is at stake. If we allow this man to keep on borrowing and borrowing, and mind you, he wants to borrow four billion dollars more and seven hundred million euros more. And this, this, this National Assembly is a rubber stamp. They are going to pass it. I say enough, enough. It's enough is enough. Look at that. Look at the nepotism. Never have we had the nepotism like that in this country. The head of the executive, Northern Muslim Mill. The head of the judiciary, Northern Muslim Mill. The head of the legislative, Northern Muslim Mill. Join me. Let us harass Buhari out of New York. Let him go back to Nigeria to face the mess that he has put in Nigeria. Join me. If you are in New York, join me. I'm going to be there 12 o'clock on Friday. 12 o'clock on Friday, Nigeria House, 828 Second Avenue, New York. Join me, 12 o'clock on Friday, 828 Nigeria House, 828 Second Avenue, New York. Join me, I'm going to be there, God sparing my life. Wait, let us harass this man out of New York. My name is Renan Mokri, I'm expecting you to join me. If you have relations in New York, ask them to come and join me. If you, if you are in New York, come and join me. I am spending my money. I bought a ticket, I'm going to New York. I have made t-shirts for you to come and join me. So join me at New York. This is a national task that we must all do. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. My wonderful people, thank you so much for watching this video together with me. I appreciate your massive support in this channel. Like before, if it is your first time of stopping by or coming across my YouTube channel, you are welcome. Now that we have finished watching this video together, you saw me sitting there watching it together with you. I appreciate you. Let's go to the comment section to talk about it. If it is your first time, subscribe, put on your notification bell. That notification bell is very, very important because it will enable you to know when I upload a new video. I will meet you guys again in my next video. I appreciate your massive support. Remain blessed. Bye-bye.